are right now. We have uh, Kiran Mazumdar joining us now, Executive Chairperson at, uh, of Biocon and Biocon Biologics. Uh, she's joining us right now uh, to uh, talk to us about the latest news uh, which is coming in. Now, this is uh, with regards to Biocon Biologics. Uh, uh, there was a deal which was struck between Biocon Biologics and, uh, you know, the uh, Serum Institute of Life Sciences back in 2021. Uh, under which uh, Biocon Biologics was to give 15% uh, stake to Serum Institute uh, at a post-money valuation of $4.9 billion. Uh, now we understand that there are changes to this particular deal. Ma'am, thank you for joining us. Good to have you with us here, Prashant this side. Could you explain what are the changes? So, uh, like you very rightly said, there was an original deal that was struck in 2021 about uh, offering a 15% stake in return for uh, you know, uh, certain financials, financials linked to vaccines. Uh, now, that has been replaced by a straight equity, uh, you know, investment, where, as you know, Serum had already invested $150 million in Biocon Biologics, and there was a loan that is now being converted into equity, uh, which will add another $150 million and uh, make it an aggregate investment of three, $300 million at an approximate uh, aggregate valuation of $6 billion. So I think that's the change in uh, the, re the, the uh, restructured uh, arrangement that we now have with uh, Serum Institute. Okay. Uh, Ma'am, hi, this is Ekta. This is something that we discussed in your earnings gone by, that, uh, you know, there is a possibility of this loan which is going to be converted into equity. So now yeah. with this $300 million investment in uh, Biocon Biologics, how much stake does Serum hold? Yeah, so if you know, the original 15% stake obviously is replaced with this. So you can ca hmm. do your calculations, you know. The, uh, the uh, 300 million uh, will then be, uh, you know, given a stake at a $6 billion enterprise valuation. So, you know, you can do the math. So it won't be, obviously, it'll be uh, much lower than the 15% stake that was originally planned. Okay, what is, uh, you know, what is the change when it comes to the vaccine distribution? Because that has actually been on the market's mind for some time now, because COVID-19 vaccines were a part of that particular deal. Yeah. But now that COVID-19 has taken a backseat in terms of uh, vaccination as a whole, the street was wondering what the partnership, what the strategic lineup would be for those 100 million doses. So what does it comprise of now? Yeah, so I think even originally it wasn't just confined to COVID uh, vaccines, Ekta. Hmm. It was going to, uh, you know, basically include uh, the complete portfolio of vaccines that uh, uh, Serum was developing and did have in their existing portfolio. But as you know, the uh, demand for COVID vaccines is waning. And uh, so obviously we now have to wait for their new vaccines which are a few years away in terms of launching. So I think hmm. from that point of view, uh, uh, we expect uh, to still have access to the $100 million, uh, 100 million doses of vaccines, but hmm. it'll take a slightly, uh, you know, it'll take a different kind of orientation in terms of the way we commercialize the vaccine. Okay. All right. So it'll probably have a different way in terms of commercializing. Uh, Ma'am, you know, Serum has taken a lot of interest in Bicon Biologics, $300 million in terms of an equity investment. What is the yeah. strategic or larger plan that Serum has in mind with Bicon Biologics? With, the, you know, this kind of equity investment, they do also have access to biologics, which is... Uh, you know, a new frontier of growth when it comes to generics in the U.S. So what kind of long-term strategic plan do they have? Do they want to increase stake beyond this $300 million? You know, obviously I have no optics on that. And, uh, you know, I don't think I can make any comments on their behalf. Uh, all I can say is that, yes, the biologics business is a very attractive business. I think Serum Institute was very keen to invest in a biologics, a biosimilars business. And, uh, you know, it, it, as a part of that, we also discussed the vaccine business. And if we have a strong commercial engine uh, in, in uh, global markets, I guess vaccines also uh, then offer a good, uh, you know, uh, opportunity for both companies in terms of uh, marketing. 
All right. Uh, thanks a lot, ma'am, for joining in and uh, giving us all those details with regard to this deal that's been restructured Thank you. as of now. Thank you. Well, uh, let's move on then. Ami Organics, that one, you know, has been buzzing around of late. Over the weekend, they announced its foray into the semiconductor space. The company has acquired majority space in the specialty chemicals maker, Baba Fine uh, Chemicals. Mr. Naresh Patel, the executive chairman and managing director of the company, joins us 